I'll make it up if it's the last thing I do. Oh, and uh, that's just what Peter vowed. Remember? I'll make it up if it's the last thing I do. He walked on and on for days and days, and finally, one night, he could not walk a step further. But the next morning, the sun returned like an old friend back from a long vacation. And its very first rays tickled Peter's nose and awakened him. And that's when I came into the story. Uh, beg pardon, Peter. Uh-huh. You're sleeping on my big toe. You really must have been tuckered out to use a big toe as a pillow. <laughs> Gee, I'm sorry, Mr. Sassafras. <laughs> well, that's all right. It's my pleasure, Peter. Well, rather my big toe's pleasure. <laughs> where are we? In my garden. This is the garden of surprises where I grow all the vegetables I use to make the pretty colors. <laughs> it's kind of magical if I do say so my magical self. <laughs> See? See right over there. There's red, white, and blue cabbages as big as houses. And purple corn stalks as tall as church steeples. Striped tomatoes and orange string beans. Why do you call it the Garden of Surprises? Everybody asks that question. And I answer, why not call it the Garden of Surprises? I mean, I never know what's coming up. Sometimes I plant beans and roses surprise me. Why, once I planted pumpkins. And do you know what came up? Huh? Uh, no, what? Pumpkins. Now, that was a surprise. Hmm. Well, it's always easier to change colors than to change labels. Well, nobody will ever be able to change my label. It reads failure. Oh, don't be so depressed, Peter. When you are depressed, it gets to be very de depressing. <laughs> but Easter's all over, and I lost. Easter over? Ah, nothing's ever really all over, Peter. Follow me. There it is, my Yestermorrowbeer. Why do you call it Yestermorrowbeer? Yeah, because that's what I call it. <laughs> you see, it can transport you into yesterday or tomorrow. Whereas most crafts go from here to there, mine travels from now to then, and from then to when. <laughs> Meet the pilot. Antoine? Antoine? Hello, hello, hello. Pardon, monsieur. I hold the rank of... We've got our first passenger, Antoine. His name is Peter Cottontail. Now show him how it all works. Oui, of course, I will do that with pleasure. You will notice, Pierre, the many switches and buttons and knobs. Eh? <laughs> They're beautiful, eh? Eh? They are labeled le futur and le past. Eh? And here, of course, we have more controls to transport one to the holidays. Eh? A button for Christmas, a lever for Halloween. So, Thanksgiving, Mother's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, Arbor Day, and this pretty one for Easter. Hey, I get it. All I have to do is hop into the basket and have you take me back to Easter. That's correct. Then you can deliver your eggs as you should have done in the first place. Win the contest and toss old Iron Tail out. Let's go. To Easter, Antoine! Of course, we oui, certainly, Pierre!